A very exciting day for David Ranta. 23 years is a very long time. Back when he was convicted in 1991, just picture how long ago this was. The Berlin Wall had just come down. Nelson Mandela was freed. The biggest movie was Silence of the Lambs. But now, after more than two decades behind bars, David Ranta is a free man. The defendant's motion to vacate the judgment of conviction is granted. <laughs> Finally, freedom for David Ranta, a man who spent the last 23 years of his life behind bars for a crime he likely didn't commit. Sir, you are free to go. <laughs> a free man who never has to return to his six by nine cell in a Buffalo maximum security prison. Right now, I feel like I'm underwater swimming, so I can't really just be honest with an answer because this is overwhelming. A state Supreme Court judge vacated the murder conviction against David Ranta. Ranta was convicted of shooting to death Hasidic Rabbi Haskell Wurzberger during a 1990 botched jewelry robbery in Brooklyn. As um, I said from the beginning, I had nothing to do with this case. If you're interested, there'll be as much paperwork as you like to read on this case and make your own decisions. Despite a lack of physical evidence and an eyewitness who insisted Ranta wasn't the killer, in 1991, Ranta was sentenced to 37 years in prison. Ranta's appeals went nowhere until the district attorney's conviction integrity unit became involved. After its year-long investigation, prosecutors agreed that Ranta should be freed. But then he also directed us to a piece of new evidence that is uh, a witness who had uh, indicated that his identification way back then have been induced. Ranta is free now, but many are asking what took so long. In 1996, a woman testified her husband, who died two months after the murder in a police chase, committed the crime. A key witness, who was 13 at the time, also came forward saying police coerced him to identify Ranta in a lineup. We feel that we're doing the right thing. He was framed. I'm not saying that. Uh, frame, frame means that somebody intentionally uh, went to convict someone they knew was guilty, I mean was innocent. We're not saying that. When the then 35-year-old Ranta was convicted, his biggest tech device was his Walkman. Now at 58, he begins a whole new life in a very different world. When a reporter asked him, what's the one thing you want to do now, he replied. Yeah. It uh, get the hell out of here, maybe. Thank you. Let's go. I'd like Let's to go. see your family. And get out of here. He did. Ranta is now a grandfather, but he did miss the funeral of both of his parents. Now, the district attorney's office was careful not to say that Ranta was innocent. So when reporters asked the prosecutor, you know, who did this murder? He said right now he still doesn't know.